Greetings, Facebook friends and family. This is Karina Daninger coming to you live from West Melbourne, Florida. It is beautiful here today. And of course I'm coming to you because I know you won't believe it, but we have another listing hitting the market this week. And I'm so, so excited to share this one with you. This one is a stunning four, be four bedroom with an office or a fifth bedroom, two and a half bath pool home overlooking the water in West Melbourne. Spectacular. It'll be $310,000 when we go live. The photographers were here. They did a wonderful job. So shout out to the photographer who was here. And um, well, let me tell you about the neighborhood that I'm in because we're really in a cool location. This location here is off of McLean Drive, which is just parallel to 192 and a stone throw away from Starbucks coffee with you are a Starbucks lover and not too far from Wawa. So I know there's always who's drinks, who's coffee. So you can go either direction and go get your coffee. Now look at this. You have a nice two car garage, nice two story high home, beautiful home. This neighborhood's been around since the early 2000s, which is beautiful because the mature trees are back and you have palm trees and the neighborhood is so clean and peaceful and quiet. Every time I'm here, it's just so nice and quiet. And everyone has pride of ownership here, which is really spectacular and equally important. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you. Hey, Lisa, will I see you later today? All right, now, while we're walking in, let me tell you what we're near. We are near Eastern Florida State College. We are near FIT, Florida Institute of Technology. We are 10, 15 minutes to the beach. We have the mall right behind us on 192. Lots and lots of shot, um, shopping and dining galore. You're just minutes to 95. There's all sorts. Oh, good. I'll see you this afternoon, Lisa. Um, there's all sorts of great amenities all in your backyard in West Melbourne. You have lots of shopping. Shopping has and dining has been exploding here since uh, the last five years. So it's fantastic. So let me show you. Nice two-story foyer. Look at that. How pretty is that? Everything's painted very neutral and soft. So the new owners can come in and choose. Gorgeous wood laminate floors. When we first walk in over here, we have the laundry room with storage. And then out that door, we go to the garage. But today was picture day, so we're not going in there or I might get choked. <laughs> Anyways, here is the dining room on the other side. So you have a formal dining room. Could be converted to an office if you don't want to have a formal dining room or another living room space. Uh, beautiful chair rails, nice lighting. Again, very soft gray and white, very pretty. As we walk into the kitchen, I know you saw that pool out there, but we'll come back to that in a minute. You have a double pantry on either side of the stove. Beautiful, hard granite countertops. Lots of pantries and cabinet space. A very nice center island with more cabinets right there. And then of course your eat-in kitchen is here. And you could put a bigger table there. We staged it at this point because the owner's been pulling some of her stuff out. So, uh, to make sure no one walks into that lamp like I almost did. <laughs> the light picture, we put a table back. <laughs> Brand new carpeting in the family room, which is right off the kitchen. You have, it is a great big space. I love the arches. The arches are really warm and inviting and nice windows overlooking the pool. That is not built in back there. That is a really nice spot to hang your TV. But just to show you, this is just a wall covering, not a building that is not attached. So you have a really great space to set your television up. Beautiful light in here, ceiling fan. As we go over and we're going to swing, we're actually going to go straight. Hey, Nicole, nice to see you out here. We have the sweetest little half bath right here off the kitchen. Isn't that sweet? Really beachy, just like the, the way we like it down here. We're always thinking about the beach <laughs> or fishing or surfing. <laughs> uh, this laminate floor in this room is brand new. It had carpet, but it had been in here for a while. Kids have grown up, so the owner put in brand new laminate floors, wood laminate. Again, nice windows, beautiful room. This is actually either a bedroom 
or an office space, which is great. It's a great size. Now, as we continue forward, we're going to go on up those stairs and I'm going to kick off these heels so you don't hear me clicking around. So if everything just went down a few inches, that's why. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tracy. All right. Up the stairs we go. Brand new carpet. So many of these walls were just repainted. Okay. So when we go up here, we're going to swing a left and we're going to go into the craft room, which is also a bedroom. So just so you can see, nice space, great bedroom space actually. And like every parent does when the kids grow up and move out, you turn it into the, the next room, right? <laughs> you have a good sized closet in there. And then when you go back out, and I gotta tell you, I'm walking barefoot right now on this carpet, it is so soft. Anyways, this is bedroom number two. And this one overlooks the water. Let's see if you can get a little glimpse out of this through Facebook. Oop, can you see that? There you go, the water view. Um, it's a little easier not through the blinds. <laughs> and ceiling fan, nice carpet, great closet space. Um, your air conditioner handler's upstairs. This would be bedroom number three. And again, a little bit of a deep closet water views outside the window let me spin around and you have another great closet space or and now coming out just to give you the quick bird's eye view downward isn't that cool it's a great really pretty foyer with beautiful windows here is bathroom full bathroom number one don't forget we saw that half bath downstairs this one's very sweet nice lighting upgraded mirrors great cabinetry. It's higher. It's not counter high, but it's not the low ones. You have the tub shower behind the curtain and it is not tile. It's actually my new favorite material because you don't have to clean the grout. It's the harder plastic. And I love that after having one and having my kids raised in one, it's the way to go. All right. Now coming into the master bedroom, I'm going to stop for a second just to pan. So here we go. This master bedroom is a great size. It's a, a large bed over there. So she's got some big furniture and you still have um, lots of space. And out that window right there would be, you could also see the water and the pool from there going downwards. You have two walk-in closets, one on either side. Hey, Billy, nice to see you. And then we have the master suite bath. You have a really pretty area for a soaking tub. If you want to sit and relax with a glass of wine, cocktail, it's a great spot to be. And then as I pan back over, uh, this is a, the master suite bath vanity. And into here, the private toilet and shower separated with a door. So someone could be showering while someone else is getting ready and that's it for upstairs now let's go check out that pool area because that area is spectacular and as you know here in florida we use our um pool and the back porch area as a third living room because that's where we live and hang out and quite frankly that's where we barbecue we're eating dinners it's only hot here for a couple of months out of the year and the rest of the time we're enjoying every minute outside that we can so let me show you this is a very big enclosure let me show you up here it is really nice it's a deep uh, ceiling above so that way you are not getting in the sun if you're sitting out or if it's raining you can still be out here which is really nice uh, there's plenty of space right here for a tiki bar if anyone wants to put one in let me know i'll be over at five o'clock <laughs> And then over, you can just see there's so much space. This is not a zero lot line. So let me replay, let me rephrase, let me re say that. Not a zero lot line. What that means is there is elbow room between you and your neighbors. You have a great little table here, so you can have lunch in the pool or a cocktail or two. You have the hot tub, which has a brand new heater getting put in um, as we speak. And then. You can see the octopus. They had some really cool little designs going on in this pool. And then out back, 
I'll take you for a little walk. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. It is beautiful here. And here is the lake right behind the screen. So you have the fence line. And it's nice if you have dogs or kids. The whole property is fenced in. So you don't have to worry about that part of it. And then, um, you know, or as I say, fences make great neighbors. And then I'm not going to do it because we had a bunch of rain a little bit ago. And I flipped my shoes off so I don't want to track through the grass. But right there is a very large shed. And it has electricity in it. So it makes a great work shed or storage shed you can do so much stuff with that shed and that one is fantastic and it's not on the ground it's raised up so this house is spectacular and honestly i know it's going to sell really fast so if any of you are interested or know somebody who might be interested please like and share the video so we can get it out and if you want to see it make a phone call to me or your realtor and we will make it happen we should be online, um, if not tomorrow, first thing Monday. Have a great day and hope to see you soon on the next one. This is Karina Daniger with Keller Williams, 321-693-2482. Have a great day.